Good morning, everyone. Joshua Loetta with KBG Insurance and Financial. I just wanted to make a quick video today and talk about cyber liability insurance, uh, something that's come up to my attention. I uh, watched a, a video on it in a, in a conference and just really uh, learned about cyber liability and, and the coverage, um, what it entails. And, and actually, a lot of business policies don't offer enough coverage. So our business policy, for example, only had $50,000 in coverage for a cyber attack. And the average cyber attack costs $1,000 per uh, client that you have in your database. So if you have a thousand clients, you know, and you got a, had a cyber attack against your business, it cost you over a million dollars. So doing the math and just kind of looking at what we had, I was like really, um, yeah, really intrigued and kind of, you know, shaken up of how undercovered we are and even being an insurance company. So 60% of small businesses close their doors within six months after a cyber attack. Uh, really is what got me you know, interested in learning about cyber coverage. So a company we partner with, RPS, um, they offer cyber insurance. And I had them do a quote for a million dollars for our, our company here. And the price, as you can see, comes with restoration costs, loss of income, phishing loss, electronic fraud, um, any type of cyber and data breach you can think of. And the price that it came out with where I was, I was very shocked, it was only $404 per, the, per year for cyber liability coverage. And as I said before, we have a Liberty Mutual policy uh, for our business owner policy, and it only comes with $50,000 in coverage. And if I wanted to add an additional endorsement, they'd give me another $50,000. And so I started looking around, and the company that we partner with, uh, they have a great rates, and like I said, $404 for a whole year for a million dollars in cyber coverage. And being an insurance and financial company, as you can imagine, I mean, we have a database with a lot of clients' info. So getting this coverage in place is something that um, we're recommending to all business clients. Um, and if you're asking yourself, well, you know, why would I need cyber liability and what kind of businesses need it? It's pretty interesting to see the exposures and, and, and entities that do need it. If you ask anybody for their personal information, name, address, date of birth, phone number, social security number, uh, you, you would need cyber liability coverage. If you take credit card payments, if you have a web page or social media accounts, if you utilize computers to store business information, you know, if you have employees and HR information, nowadays all you need is a name and date of birth and you can look anyone's information up online, which is it's pretty scary to think about. So having a coverage like this in place for your clients and your business is, is super important especially the statistics of 60% of small businesses close their doors within 60 months after a cyber attack. Another interesting fact that I, I found out was 43% of cyber attacks target small businesses. So you start to think about, if, you know, being a small business, it's like, okay, well, you know, am I fully covered and protected? You know, and that's where I'd highly recommend talking to your current agent or if you don't have a business owner policy, you know, make sure that you do have correct cyber liability coverage and understand the difference between cyber liability and data breach. Uh, I have a great, great article I put together here with some info um, I'll have here in the link uh, and you can also check out our website, but it's a coverage that we're going to start talking about more and really advising and, um, and recommending that our clients get and like I said, if you take any, anyone's information, you need to have adequate coverage for cyber liability. A uh, great article here from Warren Buffett, uh, he's talking about cyber liability and insurance and he invested in the company in 2015 and even from Warren Buffett's standpoint, it's the cyberspace is so large that no one can even comprehend it now. You know, it's just such a growing field, you know, and unfortunately in the, in the wrong way where it's, you know, people's information uh, being stolen. So I uh, had an example here on the conference that they went through, if you had a small breach with a thousand records. You see here with the forensic investigation, HIPAA fees, lawyer fees, you know, to restore people's info, it cost them $992,425 for just a thousand records. So if you have a thousand records or more, even below that, you can see that it gets, it, it starts to add up. And if you had $50,000 in coverage, well, you can do the math. That's a, that's a big difference there. So uh, again, I'll, I'll have, have these in the, um, in our link there and also in the post. If you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, we'd love to help you out or advise you on how we can yeah, help you stay protected a little better and, uh, and, you know, inform you about cyber liability insurance and something that we just found out about and we're starting to learn and uh, pursue as well. So appreciate you watching. Hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.